Juliana Rutich, I'm Executive Director at Ushahidi. Uh, I got involved with Ushahidi from the very beginning in 2008 while I was working in Chicago. Uh, since then, I've grown with the organization until now that it's uh, an institution, and I'm really glad to be here. My name is Eric Kirsten. I'm one of the co founders of Ushahidi. I got involved with Ushahidi because Things were happening in Kenya, and we had to figure out what we could do, and figured out we could use a little bit of technology to help things hopefully get better. Hi, uh, my name is David. I'm the director of technology at Ushahidi. Uh, and I guess how I got started with Ushahidi is uh, being one of the original, I mean, being one of the co-founders meant that I was actually there when we started in 2008. And this was around post-election violence in Kenya. And it was basically a way for us to get reports into the system. And it's something we created to do just that from people out there. Um, and since then, uh, yeah, we, we have a huge team of 20-something odd people. Great, fantastic team. So it's amazing that this thing we started uh, five years ago it is now something that's being used around the world in so many languages, in so many countries. And it's really a testament to the fantastic community and our team and everyone's effort. I'm Alan Gunn. I'm the executive director of Aspiration in San Francisco. I like to think of myself as Ushahidi's biggest fanboy. I've had the privilege of running Ushahidi's annual staff retreat for the last four years, and I'm really impressed with how this project is growing and creating a bigger impact every year. Can't wait to see what 2013 holds, and I can't tell you how inspired I am by this team. Hi, my name's Angie. I'm a developer with Ushahidi. Um, I started off as an intern at the I Have in 2010. And that's how, you know, I managed to get involved in some of the Ushahidi projects like um, uh, the referendum in 2010. So I just basically started volunteering between that time while I was in school. And once I was finished, they gave me a job as an intern. I the team. I'm Brandon Rossage. I'm a designer at Ushahidi. I uh, live in Texas and discovered Ushahidi, ran into Ushahidi as a journalist and as a web designer. So building, you know, telling stories, building websites to tell those stories and discovered that Ushahidi is actually one of the most effective and kind of global ways to do that. So I had to join and I'm so proud to be part of it. Hi, I'm Brian Herbert. I joined Ushahidi uh, shortly after the first deployment in Kenya in 2008. I used to be a Peace Corps volunteer and uh, I was in the United States when the election violence was happening and I used Ushahidi to actually get information about what was happening on the ground. Uh, I saw a tremendous value in that so I joined on as a volunteer and a year later I became a full-time uh, person on the staff. I'm Brian Witter and uh, I got involved with Ushahidi through the Congo DRC deployment of 2009. I was asked to help set up a frontline SMS deployment to push SMSs to that instance. Mm -hmm. Welcome, great. And so, um, when did you join Ushahidi? I joined Ushahidi in November of 2011. Wow, and what do you do there? Um, I'm one of the software developers working on Swift River. So, working hard to bring that product to completion. My name is Dale Zak. Uh, I'm a mobile developer. I got involved with Ushahidi. Um, one of my friends told me about this organization that was needing a mobile developer, and their goal was to change the way information flowed and to empower citizens. So something that really kind of uh, appealed to me. Uh, I initially started volunteering, developing a mobile app for them, uh, and then since I joined the team part time to develop mobile apps and other platforms. My name is Daudi Wer, I'm from Kenya, and I'm currently the project director to Shahidi. How did I get involved? Well, my country was standing on the edge of a cliff, and we had to pull her back from the edge of the cliff. And the best way to do that was to get as many reports as we could from citizens so that we could visualize what was going on and start working on some sort of response. So I was involved in Shahidi from the very beginning, and basically we got involved to save Kenya. My name is Manuel Kala, I'm a developer at Shahidi. Um, how I got involved was about five years ago. I got dragged into a meetup by Brian Meter and I got to meet you know, the current volunteer community uh, for Shahidi and 
I started by prototyping the Ushahidi Frontline SMS integration and uh, after a couple of years ended up on the team full time. Hi, I'm Evan. I uh, joined Ushahidi at the end of 2011. Um, joined my childhood friend Brian Herbert's work on crowdmap.com. Um, it's been an exciting adventure. I think we've done a lot of good. I've learned a lot. And I'm excited to see what the future holds. So how did you get here? I joined Ushahidi as a volunteer in, on February the 27th, 2010 during the Chilean earthquake. Mm. I kept volunteering after PAC report and Pakistan floods and kept writing about them and presenting about them and talking about community mentorship and finally they just hired me. So that's how Why'd I joined Ushahidi. Why did you keep Ushahidi. volunteering? Pardon me? Why did you keep volunteering? Um, because I believe in the idea of tech for social good and if we could just figure out that signal to noise and manage information and help somebody around the world, that's a real powerful global connection. I'm Henry Ado. Um, I got involved in Shahidi about four years ago after volunteering for it for some time. What kind of volunteering did you do? I did a bit of um, code writing and architecture during the early days of um, Shahidi 2.x. 2.x? Fun, All right? And so were you involved in the deployment in in Africa at any time? Like there was a deployment you were involved in as a volunteer, right? Yeah, I did one for the just ended Ghana elections. Um, for African elections. Hi, my name is uh, Chip Chumba and I'm a designer and a digital artist. The reason why I joined the Shahidi was really about making the decision that art is not just for art's sake, and creatives should just be standing by idly, they should participate in not only the things that they're passionate about, but also in um, like being part of a collective. So I think that Ushahidi has been a great company for me to participate with the crowd in a creative way. I'm Jonathan Schuler, and I started doing stuff with Ushahidi just after the stuff with Haiti started uh, breaking up and Eric gave me a call and asked if I could go up to Boston and Atlanta and DC in the course of a day or two days and uh, do some video work um, just kind of on the side. I had another job at the time and I said yes and that kind of turned into more work which turned into kind of going freelance and then uh, recently I've been asked to help project manage some hardware stuff for for the organization, so that's been really fun. And um, so yeah, that's that's kind of how I've gotten involved. Um, I like doing it because it's, because um, I really believe in the free flow of information and the ability to contextualize information quickly uh, in a rapidly growing world. So uh, Ushahidi does that so effectively and so powerfully. So that's why I like being involved. Hi, I'm Nima Tomoy. I joined Ushahidi in 2010. I was invited to by the co-founder to join Ushahidi. Um, take a plunge, join this fun startup company, help us with the funders, help us with a bit of grants, and just keep the wheels going on the road in terms of the bills. It's been an incredible journey of two years, lots of learning, spin-offs, new team members, all sorts of crazy stuff. But I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Uh, my name is Linda Jerry Kamau. I am a developer with Shahidi and started volunteering for Shahidi in 2009 and joined in full time in 2010. And what do you do to Shahidi? I'm a developer on the Shahidi core platform. Cool, cool. And why did you start volunteering? Because I thought it's a cool uh, project that's going to change the world and I'm loving part of stuff that changed the world. Hi, I'm uh, Nathaniel Manning. I, uh, I got involved with the Shahidi because uh, I met uh, Juliana at, um, at Singularity University where I was attending and I saw her speak and she did a fantastic job and I asked her uh, what their plans were. They obviously, she needs face so much value, um, what their thoughts were around uh, you know, how they did business sustainability, how did they stay financially sustainable, where did they earn money, um, etc. Uh, and she said, I would love your help with that. So I started volunteering, wrote up a bunch of ideas, things like that, and then they asked me to come on full time in that space uh, and it's just been a blast. Hi everyone, my name is Rob Baker, I'm the Product and Outreach Manager here at Ushahidi. Um, I've recently joined Ushahidi in the past six months, although my time with Ushahidi actually began in 2009. I just left my job at a big nonprofit, wanting to explore the mobile and mapping space. Ushahidi is a big part of that exploration. 
Uh, I spent my time downloading the software, getting involved, starting to know some people, and then the earthquake happened in Haiti. Uh, by then I knew enough people on the team to call. I did that and uh, spent the next six months in Haiti or in the Situation Room responding to that. My introduction to crisis mapping, my introduction to Shahidi, and the rest is kind of history. Since then I've worked on dozens of deployments all around the world. Uh, now for some of our clients, but also with just people doing everything from bike advocacy to just uh, agricultural work, uh, working with civil society and all the rest. And it's just been a great adventure. Hi, my name is Sharon Ruto. Um, I came straight out of university and joined Shahidi as an intern in quality assurance, um, helping testing out and squashing the bikes. And that's what I do now officially. How did you hear about Ushahidi? Um, I used to hear about it when I was back in university, how it came about from the post election balance um, and how they helped through information gathering and getting the information to people. And that's how I got to know about it. Yeah, from people and my university. Hi, I'm Robbie. Uh, I joined Ushahidi about a year ago at the beginning of 2011. Um, I first found out about, Earth, about Ushahidi around the Haiti earthquakes, I think, um, and then finally got my hands on the code when there was a deployment for the Christchurch earthquake, which is where I was born. Um, so then I basically broke code until they gave me a job. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie.